We did have a clinical study at Mount Sinai School of Medicine on vitamin D, which you may have, uh, vitamin D-enriched mushrooms. It was with people that had metabolic syndrome, and they were precursors to type 2 diabetes, I guess. Or they were. So we, we fed them 100 grams of mushrooms a day for 16 weeks, I guess, with and without the enrichment with vitamin D. And of course, then we had a control and everything. And, and basically what we found was that we weren't, really weren't able to get people to, to be replete by eating the vitamin D enriched mushrooms. And my colleague, who's a vitamin D expert, Mona Calvo, said we chose the wrong group, really, and that was the reason. But we did have some blood samples left at the end, and we thought, wow, maybe we should look at the ergothionine level in these people. All we had were, were plasma, uh, plasma samples left. We didn't have any whole blood. And we weren't able to run ergothionine on blood at that time because the machine we uh, have is not sensitive enough. The amount that's in the plasma is quite low compared to the red blood cells, about one-tenth as much. We ended up sending the samples frozen to Singapore, getting them analyzed. When they came back, what we found was that the people that ate the mushrooms compared to the people that didn't eat the mushrooms, the, um, the level of their ergothionine doubled during that 16 weeks, I think it was, consumption between starting, you know, and we also dropped, took blood at two weeks after they went off. So we had this spike in ergothionine level when they ate the mushrooms, and then it dropped back down. And it correlated beautifully with some stress, stress factors for oxidative stress. Mm. In other words, the oxidative stress went down as the ergo went up, and then came, started back up when it went down. And we published it. It was The uh, problem was we didn't have a proper control because we didn't design the study to be done that. But we did get it published. But it does show that ergothionine in mushrooms is bioavailable, and it does have an effect on oxidative stress. That was the last clinical study that I've been able to, uh, to be involved in. 